Last Minute Book Report presents a Last Minute Book Report. This is Julius Caesar by William Shakespeare. It's 44 BC, and Julius Caesar is totally rocking in Rome. Da -da -da -da, and he's like, Yes, I am great, aren't I? Totally conceited, but this old soothsayer goes, Beware the Ides of March, and that's the 15th, because I looked it up, and why couldn't they just say that? Then this Weasley dude, Cassius, goes to this totally righteous dude, Brutus, and he tells him, Caesar's getting too conceited, and Brutus says, Yeah, maybe, I gotta think. And Cassius' crew come in and is like, Oh man, we gotta have Brutus, he's like way popular. And Brutus is like, Caesar, tyrant, tyrant, Caesar, hey, I know, we'll stab him repeatedly. And the next day is the Ides of March, and Caesar's wife is all, Last night I had this dream that you were stabbed repeatedly, and Caesar goes, the Senate, and Brutus and his gang stab him repeatedly. Yeah, yeah, blood everywhere. And just as he dies, Caesar sees Brutus, and he says, et tu, Brute, which means, like, I guess we're not best buds anymore. And this mob gathers, and they're all steamed because Caesar was way popular. And then Brutus says, Caesar was, like, totally harsh, so we had to stab him. But then Mark Anthony, who's, like, the big man on Roman campus, says, friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Brutus is bogus, man. And the crowd goes wild, and they chase him all the way to Asia Minor, and everybody fights. Yeah, crash, we, bleh. And Caesar's ghost come back, and he says, nya, 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 nya. And Cassius is so freaked, he kills himself. Ah, and Brutus kills himself, Ugh. and Mark Anthony wins, the end, and the moral of this story is even a good guy can turn bad even if he does the wrong thing for the right reason, or whatever. This has been a Last Minute Book Report. Last Minute Book Reports, meeting all your book report needs at the last minute.